Hey, and welcome to VFX Tutors. I'm Josh, and in this tutorial we're going to be continuing with our basic lighting. So in our previous one we um, did our three-point lighting setup and got some quite nice renders of our um, statue. So now in this one it's going to be pretty quick, um, and we're just going to play with some colours, um, what would be like gels and stuff like that, but it's, it's just a very quick tutorial on how you can play with the colours and or, of your lights. So if you've enjoyed this uh, series so far, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. It really does help. So um, yeah, let's get going. So I've got my previous scene open um, that I used last time for our three point lighting. Um, and if you haven't got this, it's worth just checking out the first tutorial first so you can uh, do get these uh, lights in. Um, but it's a fairly simple setup for three point lighting. Nothing special. We've just got our key fill and rib. If I just open up our Arnold render view as well, you can see some of our older renders there. But in this one, we're just going to play with the colours. Um, it's not going to be a very long tutorial. Um, it's just so you, I can show you how you play with it. Um, because at the moment, we're just working with just pure white lights with no temperature or anything like that. And it's coming through, I think it's coming through super clean. And which is absolutely fine. And this is the sort of result that we're getting. So it's looking really nice, clean and crisp, but you might want to do something else. So it's really simple, like in, in, in real photography, they'll be called gels and stuff like that um, to change the color. In here, we literally just change the color. So I don't think I really need to do a comparison because you'll be able to see. So all I'm gonna do is select my key light and Let's pick, right, let's pick up a very, well in fact actually let's just go, let's not do that, let's just show you the warmth, how you can use the colour temperature first. So naturally it's just white, but if we can use our colour temperature, we can change our temperature of our light. So this is a quite simple way of just bringing something quite warm and cold together. So you can see how we're bringing our white balance effectively down on our light and making it warmer. And then we can go the other way and make it cooler. So this is really useful for making a sort of different times of day shot. So it's, we can probably make this So we could try and almost make a, a very morning or sunsetty sort of shade just by giving it that sort of sunset, sunset feel. Uh, we're just gonna go to our fill, and I'm just gonna check, try and get that different sort of. And I'm doing is just changing my temperature on my and probably could actually bring the rim light quite a lot down to be honest. And you can see how you can sort of change the sort of look from it, maybe sunset, maybe it's not quite right. You, you need to play with it quite a lot. Um, this is quite crude just playing with the color temperature, but once you sort of really sort of played around with it you'll get an idea of like you can change the sort of mood quite a lot with just the lighting it's a really useful tool to be able to understand how the color affects the mood so i know this is not particularly a fantastic sunset -y sort of look it's warmish and obviously if we go too much uh, it starts to go like mars or to go absolute red which is a little bit too much so you'd only have to change it a tiny amount. And probably the overall exposure I think is a little bit too high. But then we can also do it the other way around. So maybe let's see if we can bring this into an, an, a night sort of shot. We can bring our fill. We 
can bring our fill down just so it's looking a little bit cooler. Let's make the color temperature slightly colder in the shadows. Um, and dependent we can pretend that almost our rim light is almost moonlight maybe so we're kind of almost on the wrong side here so we do actually kind of want to bring that down possibly bring up our key is possibly a little bit too blue So you can sort of play around. This is not perfect. Um, but you can sort of get that sort of almost different time of day. So that's how powerful the colors are. And it's really important with lighting how to understand this. It's not exactly the best example, but it can give you an idea of how you can play with them. So that's just like playing with your color temperature. So I'm just going to undo all that. normal cool so we're back to how it was before so then we can also play of our color as well and you can have as much fun as you want with this really um, so let's change it to a pink and we've got our pink lighting obviously we kind of want to play with the other ones as well so it's uh, and this is kind of really down to how much you want to down to your creativity and and what you want to really want to do with it. There's no. It's it's worth just experimenting with stuff like this. Because this is how you create different types of mood. We're kind of almost going in sort of a, a neon, a neon sort of look here. So to finish that off, we can probably go with. Add the neon colours in. Maybe our fill is a bit too, a bit too boring. And you can just go around the wheel. Maybe just find something you like, really. Cool. So yeah, this is just playing with playing with different colors. It's real simple. I don't want this to be a super long tutorial because it's really it's really quite honestly quite basic. Um, and you can see how changing colors can quite drastically change the other colors. But yeah, it's um. Have a play round. It's um, and it gives you it will give you a good idea. And you, you, the best thing to do is study sort of um, following light reference and stuff like that. If you want a particular style, it's really important to look at light reference and stuff because you can pick out what highlights are being on rim lights and what sort of key lights and fill lights, and it really does help. So yeah, it's been quite a long tutorial for just changing colors and stuff and playing around and working with color temperature. Um, yeah, super simple. It wasn't supposed to be complicated. I just wanted to sort of make sure it's you guys and access different levels of people um, watching this and just trying to cover as much for like beginners as well. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, don't forget to hit that like button and um, subscribe. It really does help. And um, thank you for watching.